Hello everyone, this is Matt Hoots with Sawhorse. We're about to get started on the demolition of this project over here in um, Ansley Park. And one of the things that we want to be considerate of is all of our tradesmen, uh, making sure that before we get start the demolition that we go through the environmental testing process. So I'm here with Bruce Environmental and I've got Derek and he's going to tell us why testing for asbestos is important and also why you need to avoid asbestos. How you doing? I'm Derek with Bruce Environmental. We're in a house today that's getting ready to have a major facelift. We're basically looking for property, um, things on the property that could have asbestos, any kind of environmental hazards uh, for safety issues for the uh, workers doing the remodeling and the homeowners. So we look for asbestos. We're looking for things like joint compound, uh, HVAC tape on older homes um, that might have asbestos in it, any kind of vinyl flooring, um, that older style that might have asbestos in the compound and the mastic and the mud. Um, we're looking for basically anything that's going to overall, you know, cause any kind of hazardous issues to the environment and to the individual as we're getting the remodeling going. You have um, one of the biggest scares and things you've seen commercial mesotheliomas is basically for um, it protects for the lungs, the asbestos fibers is a friable material, the dust particles get in the air, and it can cause any kind of damage, you know, like that to the lungs, lung damage, lung cancer, mesothelioma, and it basically, what we do is try to prevent any of the, the dust particles for, of the asbestos from getting into the air and out into the environment, so it can harm people breathing it in. Um, so, and friable material is anything that can crumble and basically break up fairly easy. For example, if it is in like a drywall joint compound that's in the mud on the walls and stuff like that, that cause, that's what they use for the smoothing out and surfacing of, of walls. It's not going to hurt if you're hanging a picture in a wall or anything like that. It's major demolition and everything when you're kicking up a lot of dust is when it's going to cause a problem. You're looking for ceiling tiles, you know, for any kind of um, asbestos in that. Usually, I haven't seen any of the ones that are really, really old that may have it, uh, but usually they're pretty friable. Um, but the, the main thing we look for is on the tracks for drop ceiling, there'll be a mastic that holds the drop ceiling on, and that usually comes back positive a lot of times. One more sample of the dry ones that come back. You're usually supposed to get two samples per homogenous area. Okay. Which in this house it would be a lot, you know. I'm gonna dig a little deeper to see if you got back there. Okay. Hey guys, I just got a call from Derek and great news. All of these samples that we submitted for testing have come back negative. So we can proceed with demolition in those areas on those surfaces without fear of getting or disturbing any asbestos, which makes it friable and it makes it harmful for people to breathe. If you enjoyed this video and learned about asbestos, give Derek a thumbs up and we've loaded up some additional videos for your enjoyment. Now this video is part of a series a playlist that we've put together for this particular house. We've also created a virtual tour and all that information is in the description. Uh, make sure to subscribe and see you guys next time.